it's easy to feel that you're at the top of the world if you're earning a lot and money keeps coming in. But what if something happens in the middle? Or what if you don't prepare today and you live long and you don't have anything when you're older? It's time that we stop the cycle of dependence on our children. That I submit that you work hard and save hard and invest hard. That you enjoy today, but when you get old, you won't be a burden. People younger than you. In this video, I want to share bits and pieces of my life once again. I want to share certain principles that helped me when I was starting out. I want to give you insight also on how you could execute on that as well. For those who have been following my videos and my story, you know that I graduated as an electronics and communications engineer, took the board exam, passed it, but went into ID consulting. While I was in my first few weeks of work, I realized that if I stay here and do what I'm doing, it may not allow me to be able to hit all of my dreams and all of my goals and that's why while I was working, I wasn't spending a lot. I was saving as much as what I had, but above and beyond saving as much as I had. Trying to find different sources of income that was above and beyond my work. And I highly submit that to all of you right now. People are so scared about inflation. Why not focus your attention on how can you find extra sources of income? How can you make your money work hard for you? And as I started to earn, I realized that whatever I would earn as extra, this is something that I should treat as extra to be able to fund my future and my dreams. Everything that I got above and beyond my job, most of it was safe. Most of it also was invested. People are asking how were you able to do that at a very young age. I was doing all of that in my early 20s where most of my friends, most of my peers, most of the people around me were enjoying life. And there's nothing wrong with buying stuff. There's nothing wrong with doing things that you love also. But there also has to be a balance where you plan for your future. And there was one thing that was very clear when I was very very young that I had goals. There were goals for business, there were goals for travel. I've said this in a lot of videos that there were goals for a wedding fund even if I didn't have a girlfriend yet I was already saving for my wedding. There were also goals for protecting my health as well but one of the most important things that was dear to me at a very young age was for retirement and the reason why I had massive goals for retirement was that I saw it in my family's life, I saw it in my relatives lives that they had money, they were living like one day millionaires and every time you live like a one day millionaire, every time you think that it won't end, that's the time you fail to realize that things could happen in the short, mid and long term that could affect your finances. I realized that early on that what I would get right now, what I would earn right now, it's not for me to consume everything at this very point in time that there has to be a certain amount that I set aside to enjoy today short term but there has to be also a certain amount that I enjoy for the midterm midterm goals businesses I want to start travels I want to go to but there are certain things also that I need to set aside for the long term for retirement and retirement for me is not just you being old retirement for me is that you have the ability to stop anytime you want that you get to live life at your own terms. Eat what you want to eat. Go where you want to go. We're at the fourth quarter of the year. Some of you are getting your bonuses, your 13 month pay. You have to treat that as a bonus. You have to treat that as something that will fund for your future. You have to treat that in a way that it gives you the ability to be able to win, not just now, as you're earning. It's easy to feel that you're at the top of the world if you're earning a lot and money keeps coming in. But what if something happens in the middle? Or what if you don't prepare today and you live long and you don't have anything when you're older? It's time that we stop the cycle of dependence on our children. That I submit that you work hard and save hard and invest hard. That you enjoy today but when you get old you won't be a burden people younger than you. To your kids, to your family, to your siblings. That you can be self-dependent. And it's not about getting the billions or the millions. It's about being stable. It's about being self-sustaining. That you have enough savings investments to be able to last long. And it's not about being rich. People always think that the only way that you get to do that is to be rich. No. The way that you get to do that is by planning as early as now. One way also for you to be able to do the planning part is to execute properly and to find vehicles and tools for you to be able to prepare and plan for the future. One product that I want to discuss to you today that could help you also plan for your retirement is Access My Life Choice 
for retirement. So please do notice also that there are different variants for access my life choice. It would depend on what you're actually seeking and wanting. It could actually be structured also for your health, for your children's education, or it could just be basically to protect and secure your family. It could be also for goals. For me and for this video, I care deeply about retirement. I want to structure this on how you could structure your goals for retirement and execute it using my life goals and marrying the two together. So basically, what is my life choice and how does it help you also towards your retirement? This is something that's hybrid which gives you the ability to have insurance for protection that if you are in your 30s right now or you're in your 40s right now, say you're saving up for retirement 50, 55, 60, somewhere in between if something happens to you, especially if you're the breadwinner, your family would get the lump sum amount given that it has insurance attached to it. It allows you also to have a hedge of protection if you have not hit the target amount that you want because for retirement, we all have target amounts that we want to get. We all have target amounts that we want to hit. So it's a combination of both things. The ability to have you protected and your family protected that they have cash should something happen in between. But if you hit your retirement goal, then you have the cash slash asset slash investment at the time that you're actually retiring. Let me drill down to what my life choice has also and what it could give you as well. They have target date funds and from a financial planning perspective, what that actually does to all of us is that you could already set eh, what year, what date you actually would want to retire. So say if you're planning for 60, it's 2022 right now and you're 40 years old. So you could already set like 2042, this would be my target date already. And you could just work backwards on it. While you're younger, it allows you also to be more aggressive with your investments. And as you get older also, there's a flexibility between my life choice also that it tends to go towards investments that are not as risky, especially if you're older. So please remember this as a rule of thumb as well. The older you get, the lesser investment risk you get to take. The younger you are, don't be scared to take more risk as compared to when you get older. So to basically put what my life choice is in a nutshell, it's a protection and investment plan where you set aside hard-earned funds as savings towards you pursuing your passions even beyond retirement. What makes my life choice retirement very interesting is that it has a startup bonus. Startup bonus maximizes the growth of your funds which by investing a bonus amount on top of your investment, the unique bonus invests an amount equivalent to 70% of your first year's premium into a selected fund from day one. So that same amount would be vested on year 10, around 20% of it. And then on year 25, 30% of it would be released based on the current market value of the units bought from the startup bonus on day one of the policy. So a lot of people are scared about investing, especially when there's a lot of volatility or when there's a lot of uncertainty around. But what's interesting about this goal-based plan or investing for your retirement is that, especially if you put in regular amounts at a specific period of time, especially if you do that also when you're starting to earn more, you get to manage the volatility and you get to be aggressive at the very, very start. But as you start to tip to the middle of your investment goal, and as you start to move closer to where your retirement is, you have to be more conservative. Part of you being conservative also at the back half of all of this is that fund managers would be concentrating and moving your funds into assets that are less volatile, which allows you to preserve what you have. I believe that the merit of my life choice retirement is that if I don't want to study the nitty gritty of what stock to buy, when to buy, you just have to allocate it properly so it helps you right, then I believe that access my life choice retirement is something that would fit you and is something that would generally help you and be good for you as well. I mentioned earlier that my life choice retirement gives you protection should something bad happen. What's interesting about that is they could protect you up to 30 times your annual premiums are. As what I've mentioned, there are other riders that you could add also into the mix to further enhance your protection. But it's nice to work hard, but what will give the substance for you to be able to work hard is it's anchored on your goals. It's your goals that will allow you to be aligned, especially when times are hard. It's easy to be motivated and inspired when you're surrounded with people that are all talking about retirement, are all talking about chasing their dreams, are all talking about living life at their own terms all talking about financial freedom but when you're in the middle when other people around you also are spending on trips or doing other things or doing things that are contrary to where your goals are it's your goals that will keep you anchored what allowed me to save what allowed me to push forward and not spend a lot when all of my peers were doing that was I was looking towards my goal I was looking towards the things that were valuable to me and that's what I want to submit to all of you having an investment product itself that will align to your goal aggressive at the start conservative to help you preserve 
your asset also while you're closing and nearing retirement. I highly submit and I highly urge you while you are in the prime of your years to highly spend a lot of your time to think about retirement, to study about it, form an opinion on what age and what amount you want to retire on, and use tools like Access My Life Retirement to be able for you to reach your goals of financial freedom. People always think that you get old and you retire. But it's not like that. Retirement is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. It's a matter of you setting aside the time, the resources for you to be able to properly retire and not be dependent on your family or relatives. If you want to know more about Access My Life Choice Retirement, I have links down below that you can check out. Resources that will allow you to know more about this. And I highly encourage you to please spend the time to be able to think about your future because no one will work hard for your future more than you. No one will plan for your future. No one will structure your goals more than you. I hope you guys got a lot from this. I hope that this was something that was helpful. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon and God bless you all.